All right, hello, it's Phil Thatch, and tonight Heather and I are here at Cambridge Square in Ottawa, Tennessee, and we're hungry, and there's lots of restaurants here, but the only one that's open for dine-in is the 1885 Grill right there. It's nice that they're open for dine-in on May the 28th of 2020, kind of as the end of the COVID-19 thing is we're kind of reopening around here, but uh, every they, they require a reservation, so we don't have one, so we can't do that. But there's plenty of other restaurants that you can get carry out, and there's lots of tables that we can sit out, sit at out here. You can see Heather is at one right there behind me. And uh, we're gonna get some Asian cuisine from a place called Fulin's, which is just right over there. Heather's called in the order, and we'll be picking it up soon. And then as the sun goes down, we're gonna do some sort of photography. There's lots of beautiful flowers to photograph, and I did not bring a macro lens, but Heather has the one lens to rule them all. She has the 18 to 400 Tamron DX lens that happens to be a really nice um, mild macro lens. So she'll be doing some of that, and uh, I don't know what I'll be doing, but something. What you got there, Heather? I got some chicken and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. That looks pretty yummy. We've got General Zoe's chicken, and it looks absolutely fantastic. There's some really beautiful daisies over at the corner of the lot over there, and I made, I'm using the uh, Fujifilm X-T3 and a 16 millimeter f2.8 lens, and uh, that's certainly not a macro lens, but I made some photos. This photo is significant because this is the first X-T3 photo that I've shared on my YouTube channel. And earlier on this date, uh, Heather and I did our first live stream with the X-T3. So that camera got a lot of use today and I love these beautiful daisies and I think the photo turned out well. Looks like Heather's uh, working on the fountain shot from this angle with the sun coming in from the side. I've done it before from way back over there. The sun's setting way over that way. So this is Heather's only shot in this video. She made some uh, flower photographs, but she wasn't very happy with them. So this is the one she liked enough to share. And this is a high dynamic range shot. She did five different exposures and she did those exposures manually. She didn't use any software to adjust the exposures. And this is the first time she's ever done a high dynamic range photograph. So kudos to her with the sun coming from the right on this fountain photo. Kind of working on a shot here of this fountain again, this time with the X-T3 and the 16 millimeter. I don't know, I may look around for something else, but the sun's setting absolutely, virtually directly behind the fountain. So this is probably the shot. Waiting for the sun to go down as usual. Heather's doing composition after composition. I'm stuck on one that I've already shot before, but I've never done it with this camera. And so I'm enjoying the opportunity to play with this camera. And it, and it seems to, this, uh, this shot seems to fit the focal length of this lens, which is 16 millimeters, 24 millimeters full frame equivalent on the Fuji film. And I'm using the Fuji X-T3 for all the photography, except for what Heather, Heather will probably contribute but all my photography is with the X-T3 and all the videography is with the X-T3. So really uh, taking it out for its first real spin. I did, a, uh, Heather and I did a live stream earlier tonight and we used the X-T3 for that. So we are wearing it out on its first couple of days here. Well, Heather is still working over there somewhere and I changed my composition just a little bit. This is a prime lens, so you got to zoom with your feet. And I scooted the camera back just a little bit to try to get a little more of the bottom of the fountain in the shot. I really love the way this Fujifilm camera handles bracket photography. You just put the control lever on bracket and it automatically does five shots. You don't have to fool around with it. And of course, I like to set a two or maybe even a 10 second timer so, so there's no shake, but it, it's, it's a lot easier than what I'm used to. I'm gonna share two different versions of the fountain photo. The first one is a high dynamic range shot, five shots. I used the Fuji auto bracketing that I talked about in the previous clip, and I like this one. It turned out pretty good. 
The exposures were four seconds to 28 seconds, and this one is a single 30 second exposure that happened a little bit later in the evening, and I like this one even better. This single shot was the one I preferred of the two, but I, I like the high dynamic range one enough to share with you. And then this is an alley that's over uh, just kind of around the corner from where that fountain is, and I used the little Fuji 16 millimeter lens at f18 to put some stars on those lights that are draped across the alley and I had to uh, kind of straighten up the Distortion in the walls in the back of the photo and there's a little bit of weird lens flare on one of the lights But other than that, I really like this photograph Okay, well we found while we were here at Cambridge Square when we got done doing the fountain shot. We found this little alley with all these lights and I came over and made a, a, a shot at F18 of this little alleyway while Heather was patiently telling me she was thirsty. And uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Hope you, uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind, maybe a subscription and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.